Hi everyone and welcome to another video from Class 47 Peter and in today's video it's going to be a tutorial of sorts as this is going to be more showing you how I do it but it is going to give you an idea of how you can do it as well but today's video is going to show you how I make tarpaulings for covered wagon loads in front of you here you can see two wagons that have got covered wagon loads on them we have a Hornby wagon here and a Backman wagon and they have tarpaulins on them to basically give them that covered wagon load and I'm going to show you in this video how I do it how I make tarpaulins for wagons like these so firstly we're going to need a wagon and I have one just here this is a Backman China clay wagon without the hood and I bought this wagon from Worley so I'm just going to open the box and get the model out. We'll take the cellophane sheet from inside the wagon. And here we have the wagon out of the box and this is a very nice model. Very nice indeed. What we're going to do is we're going to put a tarpaulin on it. OK, so I've moved inside the house for this because it is warmer in here because it is quite chilly out there today. So what I'm going to use is, well obviously we're going to need the wagon. We're also going to need a brush. I've got a humble detailing brush here. Some PVA glue which has been watered down a little bit. Some paint. I've chosen to use this colour made by Revel. We're also going to need a sheet of toilet paper and some scissors. Right, so first of all we're going to make the tarpaulin. So I've moved everything else out of the way because I'm not going to need those things yet. But what we are going to do is to, to make the tarpaulin itself we are going to need the wagon, the toilet paper and the scissors. And I'm also going to use a pen for this as well. You can use a pencil as well if you want. So first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this piece of toilet paper over the wagon. Now obviously I'm not going to have the wagon, the covered wagon load like this because it just wouldn't look right. So what we need to do is, this is going to be cut to size. But first of all I'm going to fold the toilet paper over. Like so, so I can try and get it equal on both sides so one side isn't got more toilet paper than the other on the one side if you get what I mean because otherwise then it will just look uneven and not right so then what we're going to do is we're going to use the pen and we're going to cut it to size and I'm going to use the pen because I'm going to draw a line along about where I want to cut it the toilet paper that is. So I only want a small bit of the wagon covered so that's what we're going to do. So once I've done that, I'm going to take the piece of toilet paper off and I'm going to draw up the lines like so. And then I'm going to cut it. I'm going to do it as straight as I possibly can so it looks nice and neat. It doesn't necessarily have to be straight, of course. It could even like, look slightly rough. So, then what we can do is we can then take a 
I mean, if you we're going to take this piece and we're then going to place it on the other side. Because if I try and fold it to try and cut the other piece, it's not going to really work. So to try and make it as equal on the other side, I'm going to take this piece and draw around it and then cut it out. You could place the tarpaulin back on the wagon and do it like that way, as I've just shown you. As I did, but it's easier for me to do it like this. There we go. So now I'm going to cut this piece out. Again as straight as I possibly can. Because I want to try and get it as straight as possible. So there we go. There is a little bit of a pen there on the toilet paper, but it doesn't matter. It's going to be painted anyway. So then we take the wagon and we take the tarpaulin. Now obviously it does need to be cut down to size a bit more. But we have still cut it down to size otherwise on the wagon. So now what we need to do is repeat the same process. that we've just done I know it's slightly is crude to do it like this but the end results are really worth it Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So again, as I did earlier, I'm going to take this piece. And then I'm going to draw around this piece. Okay, so... That's how the tarpaulin is going to look on the wagon, and I am quite pleased with how this has turned out. I will just say though, it can take more than one attempt to do this. But so what we need to do now is we need to cut the ends to size. So we can do it like this. And I will cut these down a bit more. Probably could have drawn lines around them to be fair, but hey, never mind. So all in all, I'm actually quite pleased with this. So that's the tarpaulin now cut to size to fit on the wagon. So the next step is to 
glue it onto the wagon. And so to do this, we're going to need the PVA glue and the brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of the PVA glue out. I'm just going to spread it on the toilet paper like so. It will need quite a bit of PVA glue on, of course, because the idea is to coat the toilet paper with PVA. And you do want to cover it all in PVA glue, otherwise you won't really be it won't come out as well and you won't really be able to work and you won't be able to get the effect that I want. Spilt a bit of glue on the table, that's not going to really mind. Because I'll wipe it off later. So once we've done that, we're going to glue it onto the wagon. And we just do it like this. What you can also do later on is trim a few bits off. Like for example, that is what I'm going to do here. And then we'll just glue it back into place, like so. And there we are. We now have a tarpaulin on this wagon. I have noticed, however, that this bit is a bit bigger than this piece, so this is something that we can correct so what you can do is you can I'm just going to glue this bit down there like so because what you can do is you can from the scrap piece of toilet paper I have to put that behind the wagon and stop it from rolling away but what you can do is you can cut piece, use scrap pieces of toilet paper and patch areas up should you want to and that is exactly what I'm going to do here I have to put this pen behind the wagon because I'm going to need to use the glue so we only need a little bit of PVA for this And then I'm just going to simply glue that on, like so. And then I'm going to put some PVA on top of that. Then you can go around and do the same for other areas, such as there and around here. And so there you are, that's the tarpaulin now made. So what we need to do now is we need to let the glue dry before we move on to anything else, because it is important you let the glue dry.
the more I'm at it, I will walk the bits of glue off, off the table using these scrap bits of toilet paper. And I'll put that there to stop the wagon from rolling off the table. So I'll leave this to dry and then we'll come back later. Okay, so now I'm going to use this little table because I'm now going to be doing the painting. Now for this, I'm going to use some masking tape because I'm going to mask off these areas here so I don't get any paint on them. You now you don't have to use the masking tape but you do have to be very careful that you don't get any paint on the actual wagon itself so I'm going to use masking tape for this. Because that way it will protect the wagon body from paint. Because I don't want to get paint on the wagon, I only want to put the paint on the tarpaulin. I might have to cut it in smaller bits actually, because of these bits of detail here. Because otherwise, it just doesn't stick on very well. Okay, so I'm going to now mask off the rest of the wagon body before we do the painting. So I'll do that off camera. Okay, so the wagon body has been masked off, as you can see. So now I'm going to paint the tarpaulin, which I'm going to do just now. Okay, so the top pouring has now been painted, and so I'm just going to let the paint dry. There's a chance I might need to give it another coat or two. Sometimes I do find that they do need a couple of coats, because sometimes obviously you get bits of the toilet paper still showing through the paint, so sometimes they will need a couple of extra coats. But I'll let the paint dry on this first and then if it does need any more coats then we'll do that later. Okay so the tarpaulin on the China clay wagon is now done. The paint is now dried. It has had a couple of touch ups in a few places on it but it's now finished and on the whole I am very pleased with how this has turned out. I'm well happy with this. So as a little bonus, I'm going to show you something else I've been working on alongside the China clay wagon. It's not specifically related to this video, but I thought I'd show it you anyway. So here I have a Batman GWR Shunters truck, which I also bought from Wally, and I've been doing some detail work with this model. Because something I have noticed in some photos of the real GWR Shunters trucks is that inside the wagon, around this area here, they have various bits and pieces inside it. Like things, for example, the Shunters poles, fire irons, lamps, that sort of thing. So I thought I'd do this with my model. And as you can see, I've added a lot of detail parts inside the wagon. And I think now it does look it does make the model look a bit more interesting. So we have a chain inside there as you can see. That came from an old Mini Jewel chain. We have a couple of GWR headlamps which you get with the model in a little detail pack. I've painted them red but also I've tried to give them that used look. So some bits of the white on the headlamps which they were originally painted are showing in places because I have seen real photos of headlamps areas on the lamps where the paint has been chipped off or worn away to give it that used look well it looks like they've been used basically then so I try to give them that used look with these and I'm quite happy with that also, also, also there's a couple of oil cans and chain link couplings 
a lamp there lying down on the floor as well as the shunters poles which you also guess with the model in a detail pack they have got a shovel there, another headlamp another oil can and a couple of there's a shovel there another chain link coupling we have a fire bucket and on this side we have some other fire irons as well, we have a little hammer there as well so all in all I am pretty I am pretty pleased with how this model has turned out so that's pretty much it that is how I make tarpaulings for wagons to make covered wagon loads so that brings us on to the end of this video so thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it and do feel free to try this yourself if you wish don't forget to subscribe to the channel check out my other videos and I'll see you again soon for the next video until then take care